Hello, Falafel Hi. I'm Justin. And I'm Gina. With your Glad TV's Tuesday edition. We have a grand show for you today. Have you ever tried the Five Gum Challenge? Bella, Logan, and Cameron show you what's up. If you're ever bored, go and do the Five Gum Challenge. We wrote up some simple rules for you to follow. Two points for every truth question, three points for every dare, an extra two points if you're able to make it funny, and minus one if you're not able to do it. Okay, cheerio. What's something you've always been too scared to try? Hugging Logan Borland. Now is my chance. I am happy when I'm... Um, I have to say when I'm happy when I am... Um, uh, I'm happy when I'm eating... Uh, eating apple crisp with three little miles. I picked Dare. Speak the lyrics to your favorite song in a British accent. So, obviously, my favorite song is Hip Klein. Uh, <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I think I get true. What fires you up? Hmm. I think fire fires me up because it's actually fire. So therefore, I'm fired up. So I'm going to take the truth. What is something that haunts you? My sister, Bella Bassett. I choose dare. Give a piece of five gum to your biggest frenemy. Things to the person sitting next to you. <laughs> Dare. I'll do the next person you see. So, the final results are freshmen with 5 points, sophomores with 3, juniors with 9, and seniors with 10. So, if you're ever bored and you're looking for something to do on a Friday night, go to your local Walmart and pick up a 5-gum pack and play on. That looks like a jolly old time. The talent show took place last week. Mike, Scott, and Rain show you some clips of the show.
find joggers. I got my joggers from American Eagle. From American Eagle. Yeah, from American Eagle. American Eagle. American Eagle. Well, it definitely sounds like you can get joggers at American Eagle. So what century did joggers originate from? Um, I think they originated from the 90s, but then they just started becoming popular again around last year or two years ago. I think the 1600s. Yep. Definitely the 1600s. Pilgrims. <laughs> Definitely pilgrims. Uh, probably like the 2000s. For the people that guessed the 90s, you are correct. These pants were known as MC Hammer pants, worn by the famous MC Hammer. Watch them strut their joggers. Pick up some joggers at the nearest American Eagle. Although times have changed from the MC Hammer days, joggers still prove to be very popular. Penny for Your Thoughts was a hit last year. This year, Riley, Ashley, and Brittany show you what Fallowville High School is thinking. We're carrying on Connor David and Tyler's segment of Penny for Your Thoughts. We went around and asked students for a fun fact or thought that first came to mind. Penny for your thoughts! Penny thoughts, boys? A fish can't breathe out of water. Penny for your thoughts. Whales only have a period once a month every year. Penny for your thoughts. Uh, my joke is uh, my life. I want your jacket. I'll take it off. A penny for my thoughts was actually a dancer. Thanks for watching. Part two should be coming soon. Before we leave you today, our word of the week this week is insipid. 
which means bland or lacking vigor. Have a wonderful Tuesday, Father, and have a wonderful rest of the week.